your opinion. We put them on the vote as a commission. Uh, but we don't push you to vote yes. Yes. And when I go to the to vote, I can vote uh, yes, I want improvement to the sheriff's department. And maybe I don't want something else. That's the, that's the other. So, so I that, have would, a question. that would mean that uh, the 3.8 million might be might not come up to that much. Might be 500,000. Yes. Because only certain parts of that would pass. Correct. That would be correct. So you would have actually three questions on the top? I mean, three different issues that they can vote on. The you can have as many questions as you want. You can, you can have as many questions as you want. Um, it, it, it just determines on what the projects and then how they're related. So you can't log roll um, questions. I mean, you can't ask one question and include a bunch of different projects in it. So the voter will get a ballot with, are you yes on vote department, or no, yes on infrastructure, or the fair or no. So they would have that choice. Correct. And I believe the numbers have to be specific. And, and if we get that passed, that issue gets passed, or that item gets passed, the number, we cannot open overspend or spend that money in another project. Mm -hmm. Although we have the money, we I believe we cannot go just because we have the money that we can switch it to something. So it's got to be specific for that one project. That, that's correct. And, and the, the question is an up to amount. So if, if there was a state fair question and the number was, let's say, 500,000, that it, it caps the amount of bonds that can be issued at five at five hundred thousand. Um, just to kind of take it one step further, if you will, if you have three questions and it comes out to three million eight seventy five, um, two of the questions pass, one of the questions doesn't, and let's say the total amount comes out to a million nine hundred. One of the questions may have, may be what happens to the tax rate. Well, the tax rate will go down to about fifty cents instead of a dollar. A dollar is what supports. 3.875. So if voters approve less than that, then the debt service tax rate will go down to what will support the amount that has been approved um, by voters. I will allow one, one more question. Thanks. I, I just have one more. We have to change the disc. I'm sorry, Tate. We, we only have 20 minutes, so. Okay. Okay. We're going to switch the table. pre-plan things because we don't have the money to go ask for that. So do we have to do the pre-planning things before you can ask the question? So that you know the number. So then when you do the pre-planning things, does that money come out of as is that part of the the expense of, of what the borrowing of the loan is? Or do do you have to shift money around inside the existing budget, which is, is, is you know, being stated that we are, we're short in, I guess I'm, I'm overcomplicating my question. Are we going to rob Peter to pay Paul to get this loan, is what I'm asking. No, if you're asking about, if we're, hypothetically, let's say the paragraphs again. If we don't know exactly, but we think we can build some pretty decent paragraph improvements for 400000 that's that's all we need to put it on a question. And then before the bonds are issued, we're going to have to have better plans and specifications. But we've got up to 400, if it passes, we've got 400,000 that we can spend on the fairgrounds. So 
Um, so the money that we would have to spend to get to the point to spend the 400000 to hire the architect, to do the, the land surveys and the driveway cuts or whatever that would potentially involve, that's going to have to come out of the normal county budget before the project can start. Is that correct? Theoretically, but you're not, it, it wouldn't be that complicated for, for any of these projects because we've got, and then they're not that complicated. It's not like we're building, the last year bond was to build a new judicial complex. Mm -hmm. So that was a big, huge project that required. So with that particular project on doing that brand new construction, and I'm asking specifically for if people ask you to come forward with a brand new multi uh, facility for fairgrounds instead of throwing money at what's there knocking that down and putting a whole brand new building up well then we're going to have to have building plans and everything else so like with with the the district court building when that when that ran through did the county budget have to fund the plans and all the prep um, to get started before they could do the building, did that have to come out of the regular county budget first? I don't know. You don't know. Don't think so that's. I, I, I really I mean, don't think so. Well, that's uh, what I'm when we did, about. when we did, of course, this was a legislative appropriation money. Mm -hmm. We're doing our our, our uh, shop building for the soil and conservation district. It, it came off of, off of that same same money. With the legislative appropriation on. But that's a different thing. That's when a different thing. When you put the wording thing. in. You can put in plan, design, construct, and equip. So that that's kind of no, dependent on what you put in in your project. That's as far as that money goes, you have to fund the plan. Is what you're saying? No, I'm just saying on the shopping list. Okay. So we so to simplify the whole process. Basically, this is like I want to go buy a house, and I call my banker over here, and I say, Hey, banker, I want to go buy a house. How much can I borrow? And he goes, You can borrow 3.8. I'm like, Sweet. So I go look for a big house. But I have to find my house, and then I come back to him and say, "Well, I really need to borrow two seven. Am I still good for that?" And as my lender, he tells my uh, my seller, "Yeah, she's good to go. Let's let's move it." Is, is that kind of like a simplified version of what this is? I think that's a good way to, to state that. The simple, um, sort of a, sorry, my name is Daniel. Also. Thank you. Mr. Chair, I'm thinking about some of that also. As to the uh, <clears throat> the amounts that we would put on the on the ballot for a different 
projects, or fairgrounds, or the sheriff's office, or whatever. Uh, I'm not a contractor, <clears throat> but I know that it would depend a lot, let's say, the fair building. And there's been different things mentioned that could be in it. Uh, the arena part, the uh, probably an auditorium part, maybe a kitchen and all this. And I, I'm thinking it would be better to ask for an amount up to something, let's say 700000 or something, rather than then get it voted for a lesser amount. And then when we get to it, sure. it's not enough. I agree with uh, Commissioner Frost. I believe this list uh, should be revised. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> um, we, we should have maybe less projects, uh, but quality projects. Um, And uh, I also agree with Commissioner Frost that um, uh, better wait until uh, general election and don't have this uh, expense, $28,000, when um, our sheriff's department is uh, understaffed, uh, when uh, our roads are in dire uh, need of repair. I don't think we have uh, such uh, luxury to spend uh, twenty-eight thousand dollars just uh, to uh, gamble. <clears throat> um, uh, I uh, I would support a fair ground improvements. But I would like to see those improvements on the county-owned property. We need to improve infrastructure in the county and not to try to improve infrastructure in, in uh, municipalities. Uh, I understand Mr. Uh, Hall's, um, he is trying to protect uh, interests of his constituents and our responsibility to protect interests uh, of uh, constituents of Torrance County and uh, uh, so if we have um, it, it, it just only will make uh, sense to make in investment on our own property and on uh, 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 not on somebody else's um, and Mr. Ortiz maybe I will uh, come up with with something else uh, but uh, please what do, do you have to say? I have, Mr. Chair I have a little bit more on that <clears throat> I know it was mentioned about the long-term lease, and I had heard the the number of years lease was 99 years. When does that start or finish? Oh, I think it started about four years ago when we took when the county took over the fairgrounds. So we still have a 95-year lease. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and also, uh, there's there's a I know that the, the, it appears that Mr. Chavez is disagreeing with me in the audience. There are a couple of different agreements. There's a lease agreement for the property. Oh, okay. <laughs> and there's also an agreement to use the fairgrounds. There's a couple of different agreements. And, so. and I'm, I'm wondering about if we were to move that, and, and it probably would be nice to start out with a brand new fairgrounds, with everything brand new. But, but there's more to the fairgrounds than just a multi-purpose purpose building. We have the, the outdoor arena. Uh, we have cattle barn and, and the other barns that are there. And Albert could uh, expand on some of that. But but those are all going to cost a lot of dollars if we had to replace all them in a new facility, as, as well as uh, 
as, as well as the multi-purpose building. So I guess that there would be uh, a lot more dollars involved, is my thought. And I think those dollars will be a, a well spent. That's why I'm saying we have, we need to have a less projects, but a quality projects and uh, cover. Let's uh, concentrate on one, two, maybe three projects maximum, and let's uh, do it uh, in a correct way and put enough uh, money uh, there that uh, the whole project will be uh, covered uh, by it. Um, so I, I assume that we will have a re uh, revised um, list and we will have the opportunity to discuss each um, project there in, uh, in uh, great uh, length and again give uh, opportunity to people to speak um, regardless each project. Well, I have, I'm also <clears throat> making a comment on our, fair, our fairgrounds. Um, our fairgrounds and Estancia complement each other. There's a great park that we have right there. The facilities that are close to each other, they complement each other. For us constituents, both the city of Estancia and the unincorporated areas are our constituents. So this, all, all this is going to do is give them a choice of everybody in the county to vote for it or against it. We're giving them that opportunity. But to me, uh, the fairground, where it's at right now, it just complements each other. And we should continue that working relationship of complementing each other. <laughs> just because they're a municipality. And that is my last comment. I think that was, that was a public hearing. Just a minute, please. Yes, yes. Uh, um, Mr. Ms. Carroll from Encino informed me, I don't know where they have this information, that they said that uh, they, they are in uh, support uh, of this um, fairground improvement project and also they informed me that um, the lease will expire uh, before the county fair uh, of 2019. Uh, Ms. Ansley, could you please uh, comment on that? Um, I don't know what you're talking about. The, the land lease was for 99 years. It may be the fairgrounds agreement that the county has with the town. I think I'll correct this. Thank you. My name is Albert Chavez and I'm from Wyoming. And I've been on the fair board for quite a bit. I think I was on there for 27 years. Then I was out for a couple of years and now I'm back on it. But ever since I can remember, we've had a lease with the city for one dollar for 99 years. And I don't think I don't know, maybe now it's different, but it never had expired. You know, and I think that the place, I know a lot of people want to move the buildings, but can you imagine how much, I'm a contractor, can you imagine how much it will cost to move all the buildings that we have now? Everything set up for us. It would be nice, but it would cost a lot of money. And here we are, we're just asking for a building so we can have our kids there. And a multi-purpose building, we do a lot of showing too. My kids do. As a matter of fact, we just got back from Odessa. Well, we show animals up there. And those facilities are nice. We go to Farmington, we go everywhere, we have some nice facilities. But right now, we need one back here. We we live under, I guess that, that the building that we had that was called the pig barn must have been there built probably by in the, two, in the, in the early 1900s. But it was really falling down. It was really dangerous for the kids. You know, it was, it was scary to have kids there. A good wind could have blown it down for a lot of kids. But we are looking for a new building. And I would really appreciate it if you would take into consideration and help us out. We will keep it up for you guys as long as well, I'm getting kind of old now. But I think that if we could uh, get something like that, we'll get the kids and we'll continue doing what we do. And it's not just going to be for the 4-H and everything kids. This here will help all the royal kids. It will help 
all the people, because it's going to be a multi-purpose building. So you haul dirt in, you haul it out, you clean the floors out, you make it into a dance floor, you make it... This man was here and said, he's an artist. They can bring art in there. They can set up art exhibits. It'll be good for everybody. It's not, it's not just for the kids. It's good for everybody. But it would be a great thing to do. But like I said, I, I can remember, we've had that, we've had that 99 year lease forever. And I don't we think... We did it whenever, because you guys I remember, were I remember when, I, yes. when mm -hmm. the county took the fair Yes, I remember that. Lease. Yes, but. okay. But I don't think, I, I don't think I can see it in the city not letting you have it for another 99 years or whatever for the amount that we pay for it. It's not for the building, it's just for the land. To build what we have there, all those buildings have been put up, we put up a lot of them while I was up there. A lot of them were donated by people. You know, I can still remember who all donated and everything. We did all the work. We put them up. We never complained. The little red barn, I don't hate that one. You know, and then the, the big steer barn, that we call the big steer barn, uh, Gil Zamora donated all the metal. The heralds that you were just talking about now, they paid for all the materials on the tin. So it's all been donated and we've all worked together. We've always had a very good deal on it. But we would really, we can't afford to build a new building now. So what I'm asking for is if you guys can help us. But I think that Joy can take care of the lease for us for another 99 years or something. So it's up to you guys. We, we are talking right now about a lot of money, $3.8 million. You, you'll probably spend at least two point some million dollars in trying to move everything from here. By the time we drill wells, by the time we drill wells, septic systems, uh, new buildings, electrical, who knows how much it will work. Um, just uh, right now we are just throwing um, numbers around and uh, I uh, looking at these um, projects I don't see how uh, these projects will improve infrastructure of the county I see how it will improve infrastructure of the uh, town of Estancia but it is not our job to improve infrastructure of the town of Estancia. We need to do our job. But it, uh, to me, it is improving the county too, because everybody from the county comes here. I mean, it's not it's not just the city of Estancia that comes here. It's the whole county that comes here. We come here, we're a cry county. Moyari, mm -hmm. our FFA chapter, mm -hmm. and, and uh, all of our 4-H clubs are cry county. Mm -hmm. we got Burnfield, Santa Fe, and Forest. And believe me, all those people are here. I mean, it's not, I it's not like... It's not like, it's not like, 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 it's not going to be a big It will benefit the child by getting the kids out here. You know, we get good kids out there. We've got a lot of good kids out there. And we try harder every day. We try harder and harder to make it better for the kids. And that's what we are looking for. I'm not, I'm not looking for, I'm not looking to see who's going to benefit, benefit off of the thing. You know, like the county or the city. I'm looking to see what it, the people of the county is going to benefit from. But we, we have different, uh, different, uh, should have different uh, approach. Uh. Okay, and, and like you say, if you really want to move it, if you seriously did, serious about moving it, you will spend that. I, I don't think we need to move it uh, at one time. We need to start with it, uh, maybe with the building uh, at first, and then uh, build on, uh, build on uh, it. At the same time, maybe using other facilities um, at existing uh, fairgrounds. I don't say we need to move it at once, but let's start. Uh, with it on the county-owned property. That can happen, but it'd be a big building. <laughs> it's up to you guys. You're the commissioners. I'm just here to. Yeah, you. No, that's it. Well, that was addressed. Thank you. Addressed. Um, again, I think that, that pure art and speculation, from my experience as an artist, it's not near as where I said having art shows and ribbons and all that in Estancia is really not going to be a major um, issue, a major help um, with the new building. I really think the building will, will be 
better used and more effective in other ways. Uh, the other thing I will add is that I think that if you're going to have an estancia, is every agreement you have with estancia needs to be 99 years. It, and it needs to be defined before you ever decide on keeping it in estancia at the present location. That already has to be decided. Right now what I'm hearing is very soft. I haven't heard a de definitive that every agreement is 99 years. Okay, well, I am going to allow just one more comment and then we're going to close this. We have to be at the CCA for inspection at 11 o'clock. I want to allow one more from Marcia. Annette had a question too. I just want to address the art issue. And Mara Hall has worked tirelessly trying to get area artists to bring their art, their oil paintings in to fair building. The fair building leaks. Um, so we had to move strategic um, placement of the art for the fact that it usually rains during the county fair. And I think it's unfair to qualify that art that's exhibited by the kids as well as private donors as not being art worthy. They are as worthy as any famous artist, and I think it's imperative that we provide a safe place for their little plaster teapot as well as his fine art. Thank you. My name for that. With that, we'll, uh, Mr. Chairman, I, I am just a, a little bit slow here, but uh, I want, uh, while we are at the public hearing, I, I want to mention that uh, I talked to uh, a finance director of uh, Santa Fe County, and uh, they, she said to me that once they did a referendum, she called it a referendum, and uh, I wasn't, uh, I didn't ask her what she meant, was it done by a mail or with precincts, um, and she said it wasn't successful. Uh, they um, have um, better luck to go, um, to put bonds, questions on the ballot during um, general election. And uh, you represent them uh, too also. And, and could you please uh, comment on that? 